Hello, welcome to another video of our MDCN series. My name is Dr. Mariam, and today we're going to be going over the MDCN style for abdominal examination. But before we begin, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel as it will really help us out. For our abdominal examination, we're going to follow our normal protocol of reaching the patient and doing our wiper. Good morning, sir. Morning. I want to examine your abdomen today. May I please proceed? Please do. Thank you. So the position for abdominal examination is the patient lying flat with the palms facing up. This is done so to relax the abdominal muscles. The ideal exposure is from nipples to knees, but for the purpose of modesty, we'll be covering the joints of the patient. So for abdominal examination, we're going to follow our normal inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. So for the inspection part, it's in four phases. So we start with closer inspection, looking at both the sides, and what we're looking for is any lumps, swellings, visible veins, stomas, or scars. After that, we move down at eye level to see the convexity of the abdomen as well as movement with respiration. After that, we move towards the end of the bed and squat to check for symmetry. And lastly, we ask the patient to look to the other side, so I need to speak to the other side and cough. <coughs> while looking at the abdomen to see if there's any swelling which can indicate pregnancy. Thank you, sir. So after the inspection part comes the palpation. And in abdominal examination, there are three parts to palpation. Superficial palpation, deep palpation, and organomegaly. So for superficial palpation and deep palpation, we divide the uh, abdomen into the nine anatomical regions using two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. So for the regions of the abdomen, we use two vertical lines and two horizontal lines to divide the abdomen into nine regions, making this the right hypochondrium, the epigastric region, the left hypochondrium, the right lumbar or flank, umbilical region, left lumbar or flank, right iliac fossa, hypogastrium, and left iliac fossa. So some of these may have different names, but it's better to just stick with the ones you know in order to reduce the amount of confusion. So for light palpation, what we're going to do is we're going to be systematic in palpating all nine regions of the abdomen with the flat of our hands moving at the metacarpophalangeal joints. What we're looking for is any tenderness or rigidity. But before we begin, we have to ask the patient if the patient has any pain. If the patient has any pain, we have to start for away from the pain. Sir, do you have any pain in your abdomen? No. Okay. So, given the patient doesn't have any pain, we'll now begin superficial palpation. And like we said, we're going to be systematic and we're going to be using the flat of our fingers moving at the metacarpophalangeal joint. Where you start is entirely up to you. The key is you just have to be systematic. So, if we don't feel any pain or rigidity, we now move on to deep palpation. And for deep palpation, we do the same thing, except this time, we're not looking for pain, we're looking for masses. And we also use two of our hands at the same time, moving at the metacarpophalangeal joints. So, again, sir, do you have any pain? So, after deep palpation, comes palpation for organomegaly. And there are three organs that we palpate for, the liver, the spleen, and the kidneys. For the liver and the spleen, the way we palpate them is we start from the right iliac fossa. Which direction you go entirely depends on which organ you're palpating. So if you're palpating for the liver, you start from the right iliac fossa and move up towards the right hypochondrium. If you're palpating for the spleen, you start from the right iliac fossa and move diagonally to the left. And for both the organs, we ask the patient to breathe in and out and we move at the beginning of inspiration. The logic is that when we inspire, the diaphragm pushes both the liver and the spleen down and we want the organs to be hitting our hand as we move. Another important thing to note is that we use the radial part of our hands to feel and we dig in as we move. So we'll now begin palpation for the liver. So can you please breathe in and out? A normal liver in an adult should not extend beyond the subcostal margin. But in a case whereby you feel a liver that extends beyond the subcostal margin, you need to differentiate, is this true organomegaly? That is, is the liver truly enlarged? Or is there something pushing down to bring the liver down beyond its normal anatomical space? 
this is when we do the, the liver span so if you don't feel an enlarged liver you actually don't do the liver span you just move on but let's say we feel an enlarged liver then we have to do the liver span so to do the liver span we start percussing from the right area cosa and move up until we feel the dullness so we start percussing Remember you're taking for, for, for percussion all fingers off except the one you're focusing on. Using the middle finger to focus, movement at the wrist, and lastly, after percussion, your hand needs to be off. So. so at the point where you feel the dullness, you ask the patient to place their finger there. So can you please place your, place your finger here? Here, and keep it there. Thank you. And then we move on, find the second intercostal space and percuss down until we feel dullness again. So we locate the manubrium, move down to find the angle of Louis, slide laterally to find the second intercostal space. And then we start percussing from there. Move to third intercostal space. You percuss in the intercostal space, it's not on the ribs. So if you feel dullness now, then that's where you push your tip and you measure. A normal liver span should not be more than 13 centimeters. Thank you, sir. So after finishing with the liver, the next organ is the spleen. And like we said, the technique is the same, it's just the direction that's different. So again, we ask the patient to breathe in and out, sir. Please can you breathe in, starting at the right area, pause, sir, and moving diagonally. <laughs> Again, should not extend beyond the subcostal margin, but if you do feel an enlarged organ, it's advised to feel for a spleenic notch to confirm that it's the spleen that you're feeling. Lastly, in organ palpation, we need to balot the kidneys. So the technique for balloting the kidneys is your non-dominant hand, which in most cases is the left hand for most people, goes under the right flank or right lumbar region. And then your right hand goes on top. And then remember, the hand on top is pushing down while the hand below is balloting. So this hand will just be pushing down and this hand is the one that will be balloting, moving like this. The logic is to try to get the kidney to hit this hand. And if the kidney is enlarged, you'll feel the kidney hitting this hand. But we use this hand to balot it. So the trick is the non-dominant hand underneath, dominant hand on top, pushing, the hand on top pushing, and then the hand below balloting. To do the other side, the technique is the hand on top stays on top. So you just slide your hand to the other side, move this, the one underneath stays underneath, it goes underneath. Again, you push down with this hand and you balot with this hand. Balloting the kidneys concludes our palpation. The next step in abdominal examination is to purpose. So what we purpose for is for shifting dullness. The technique is to place our middle finger and then percuss down laterally. Until we feel dullness. And if we feel dullness, we ask the patient to slightly lie on their left side. Can you please lie on your left side? Thank you. And then we wait for a few seconds, like 30 seconds. After waiting, we percuss. If it's dull, we can uh, we can assume that there's no ascites, but if it's resonant, then we can assume that it was fluid that made it dull, but then when the patient lied on the side, the gravity pushed the fluid there. So uh, the point is, when you percuss and it's dull, and you tell the patient to lie on the other side, when you percuss in a normal patient, it should still be dull, meaning you've actually reached the end of the abdominal cavity. But if it's resonant, that's when you suspect for ascites. Thank you. Can right? you slide down on your side? Mm -hmm. And then you can do the fluid throw. So the fluid throw is just to simply tell the patient to put their hand on their abdomen to try and stabilize the abdominal fat. So can you please place your hand on your abdomen? And then we use one hand on the other side and then we use our fingers to flick. The purpose of stabilizing this part is to reduce the transmission of the movement through the fat so that only fluid will make it flicker if it's present. Thank you, sir. Lastly, we auscult it. So auscultation is done for bowel sounds, and we do that at the McBurney's point. The McBurney's point is where we locate the appendix. How do we find it? Well, we draw a line from the umbilicus down to the anterior superior iliac spine, and one third away from the anterior superior iliac spine, or two thirds away from the umbilicus, is where we find the appendix. So I can't stress this enough. The McBurney's point is closest to the anterior superior iliac spine, so it's two thirds away from the umbilicus one third away from the anterior superior iliac spine. Don't switch that around because some, some students get confused with that. So let's show this on this patient. 
So we're drawing a line from the umbilicus to the anterior superior iliac spine, and one third away is the McBurney's point. So as you can see, the McBurney's point is closer to the ASIS rather than the umbilicus. And we listen for our bowel sounds here. So we auscultate using the diaphragm of our stethoscope. Thank you. To conclude your abdominal examination, you should tell your examiner that you would like to finish it off with a digital rectal examination. After that, you thank your patient. Thank you, sir. And that brings us to the end of the examination.